Hi, Jen Maleka here, functional diagnostic health coach and personal trainer. And I'm talking to you guys this week about <clears throat> something that 80% of the population is estimated to have, which would include probably you. It's one of the most commonly underdiagnosed and most overlooked things in Western medicine, but it's something that everybody in the functional medicine world is talking about. And it's called leaky gut. And you guys might have heard of this term before, but maybe you're not super familiar with it. So today I'm going to talk about all about how it comes to be, the prevalence of it, and then how do you go about healing a leaky gut exactly. <clears throat> so like I said, about 80% of the population is estimated to have leaky gut according to functional medicine doctors. And I can attest to this because in my functional health coaching practice, I see this with every single one of my clients. It is so common and it's usually the root cause of a lot of the symptoms and health issues that they're experiencing. So you might be wondering, well, how do I get leaky gut? How does this come to be? And some of the main contributing factors to leaky gut are eating processed or inflammatory foods, exposures to chemicals and toxins in our environment, over-the-counter or prescription medications, and chronic stress. So out of those four things, I'm sure that you could check the box for almost every single one of them, if not all of them. And then one of the underlying most common causes of leaky gut that most people don't even know that they have is usually a parasite, a bacteria, or yeast overgrowth, such as candida. And these type of gut invaders can go in there and they strip the intestinal lining and they can contribute to leaky gut. So leaky gut essentially means that the intestinal lining of your GI tract has been worn down or damaged to the point where it essentially has like holes in it. And when this happens, this allows toxins and things coming through your body and your digestive system to go straight into your bloodstream. And when that happens, those toxins can then cause even more symptoms in your body. So this is not something that's happened overnight. It's happened over maybe five, 10, 15 or more years and gotten you to the point where it just becomes so worn down that you have a really leaky gut, essentially. Some of the common symptoms of leaky gut are things like allergies, getting sick often, skin rashes and breakouts, um, sleep issues, mood disorders, anxiety, depression. The symptoms can often be far removed, which is why it commonly goes overlooked so much in Western medicine where they're constantly trying to chase the symptom instead of finding the root cause of what's making it happen in the first place. So when I start working on healing the leaky gut of my clients, things will turn around for them almost instantly and they start feeling better. Now, leaky, healing leaky gut is a process. It does take time, but it definitely is possible. Here's some of the ways that you can start to heal a leaky gut. One is by cleaning up your diet, removing those processed or inflammatory foods. And the, top, the ones at the top of the list are gluten, dairy, sugar, soy, and alcohol. You also want to investigate any gut invaders that you have, those bacteria, parasites, or yeast that might be growing on in there and wreaking havoc and get rid of them. Then you want to implement also some healing supplements and substances, <clears throat> things like bone broth or gelatin to heal leaky gut, also um, stuff like glutamine and fish oils and probiotics can all be really helpful to heal leaky gut too. And there's a wide variety of other supplements that I use in my practice, depending on the person's symptoms and how maybe leaky their gut is to help enhance the healing process. So over a period of time, as you start to do these things, your gut will start to heal itself naturally. It wants to be healthy. Although leaky gut can take anywhere from six months to two years to potentially heal. So it does take some time. But focusing on these principles is something that I'm actually going to be doing in my upcoming Get Your Gut in Gear program, where participants like you would get an opportunity to run an at-home stool sample test to take an inside deep dive look at your gut function and what's happening. We're going to be able to identify if there's any gut invaders, also be able to look at the inflammatory markers to see what um, level of leaky gut you might have, like how damaged it is. And then based upon that, you get to work with me one-on-one -on -one 
to put together a healing plan so that you can start working on healing your gut and getting rid of that leaky gut that you might have. And then you move through those pieces of the plan in a group setting with me and a small group of five to 10 people as you start to work through the parts of your healing program so that eventually you can restore your gut. And that gut is the root of all of our body functions. People are starting to call the gut the second brain because that's how control and control it is of everything else that happens and goes on in our body. So if you suspect that you have leaky gut, or if you think that you have some type of parasite, yeast, or bacteria overgrowth, or if you suffer from any of those symptoms that I was talking about earlier, like acne and skin breakouts and anxiety and mood disorders and food sensitivities and weight gain or weight loss um, issues, then this program is perfect for you. Or if you're just somebody who's interested in investigating your health and taking it to the next level, then my Get Your Gut and Gear program is perfect for you too. It's time to get your gut and gear. It will prolong your life and improve your health for the better. This was a game change for, changer for me and all of my clients when we start focusing on gut health. So enrollment is open now and there's only 10 spots available and it closes on April 26th. Go ahead and click on the link below to check out more about the Get Your Gut and Gear program and to sign up and save your spot or go back to the email and click from there. Hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you next Thursday.